During this time of the year, decorations are all around. From Christmas trees to lights and ornaments, the island's warm weather doesn't stop us from celebrating the holiday season. Join us as we look for Lumet, a traditional Chamorro holiday staple. I'm Lieutenant Tim Gorman, the Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs Officer. Stay tuned, this is Dig It. Lumet, translated to English, is moss. Lumet, as defined in the Chamorro Dictionary, is a clumpy mass of green plants growing in cool, damp places. Though Lumet can be found year-round, it is commonly seen in homes during this time of the year as it is used as decoration for traditional Chamorro nativity scenes. Tony Ramirez from the Guam Department of Parks and Recreation guided us on our quest to look for Lumet and explain its importance in Guam's culture. The uh, Belen is the Chamorro expression of the nativity scene. All over the world in the Christian community, uh, there are so many Belens being made during the season, but each particular culture, each particular society would design uh, their Belen because it all depends on the material that is in their regional area. So the Belen for the Marianas, not just Guam, but the Marianas, uh, is really very unique because of the materials we use. Uh, to produce the belen or to make the belen or to prepare the belen. Then it goes beyond further than that because interwoven with all the aspects of preparing the belen are the cultural attributes which are very, very interesting. According to Ramirez, there are four principal materials used to construct a traditional Chamorro belen. Driftwood, rocks, traditional medicinal plants, and lumen. To find our Lumet, we took an early morning walk to a northern limestone forest. This is a limestone forest, the whole area here uh, in, in northern Guam. It's a very rich limestone forest. And the Lumet grows very well in the limestone forest here in Guam. And especially during this time of the year, because there are two seasons in Guam, the dry and the rainy season. So during the dry season, the Lumet would dry up. But when the rainy season comes in in uh, early July or late June, uh, that rainfall would make the uh, lumen very, very verdant, very, very green. That by the time it comes to November, December, it's really very, very beautiful. Most species of moss grow in shaded areas such as rock ledges or tree trunks. Although this is their preferred environment, it adapts to survive periods of dry weather. You already see one of the limestones, the border rock, and here we see the lumen. So once you see the lumen, and this is kind of a little bit dry because it's exposed a little bit to the sun, the way to, to obtain it. Once you see it, uh, you have to, to remove it from the rock in a way that you don't tear up the, the lumen and also to make it uh, also in larger pieces. Because when you bring it home, it's a lot easier to recreate the scenery and uh, put the lumen in the chicken wire or whatever uh, thing that's gonna hold it. So as you see, I'm, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna start pulling it out. Okay, and as I pull it out, I will begin to fold it, like in a circle. Although we remove the moss from the limestone, more of it will grow throughout the year and hopefully, with favorable rainfall, we can revisit the same site next year around the same time and find new loom. So Tony, thank you so much for taking us along today in the limestone forest. Uh, it was very educational and I appreciate your time. Oh sure, I'm very pleased to you know to share this knowledge for a lot of people that you know have made Guam their home or are living here. Thank you for spending your time with us at home. In the meantime, please let us know. Did, Did you, you dig, dig it? it? <laughs>